This look at video you'll only see on News 4. Our cameras were the only ones allowed inside this home that was vandalized also by teen suspects. Police say it caused $25,000 in damage and it was also in Hendersonville. Alexandria Adams joins us now with more on the story. Yeah, the psychologist we spoke to says it may be a combination of several factors who their friends are, who their parents uh, or, or their parents rather checking in with them. It can really be a bunch of things. Two teens, 15 and 13, break in and wreak havoc throughout the house. The owner, who didn't want to go on camera, walked us through, shows us the mess left behind by the two teen boys. This is the bathroom drain they filled with concrete to flood the house, causing damage to the flooring and warping the walls. Mortar poured all over the house, and that's concrete thrown against a ceiling fan. There's also graffiti. Some say Slender Man, the others explain why they did it. For the trees. The homeowner says the kids admitted to police they did it because they took out the trees they played in to build the new home. Uh, According I to Dr. Brett say, Shapiro, a child uh, psychologist, there are behaviors that can be warning signs for parents. As the child shoplifted or as the child done something else that can kind of lead to the more serious behavior. He also says you've got to check on your children and often. In moods of kids, I think looking at grades, are, are grades going down, are grades going up? Um, I think also depending on the age, looking at friendships. And if your child does exhibit concerning behaviors, he says the best thing to do is to get them help. Talking about this, I think, you know, some sort of counseling, some sort of therapy to, to, to help them to try to get underneath why this is occurring. Hendersonville police say they have seen an increase of serious and violent crimes involving juveniles over the last several years, particularly in teens ages 14 to 17. Lauren. Okay, Alexandria, thank you.